Daddy, wake up. Daddy's late. Wake up. Come to bed. Let's go, Daddy. Oh! What is it now? I've told you to stop calling me daddy. Are you a kid? I need a little kid to call me, call me dad. I know you, you old woman. You better stop it. I don't like it. George. Yes, my dear. Uh, I'm really sorry. I didn't inform you of my wedding, which was uh, about five years back now. No, no, it's okay. At least we were not in touch, so there's no way I would have known. It's all right. So how is your wife and kids? They're all fine. And yours? I believe they're all grown-ups now. Uh, yes. Um, unfortunately, we're still waiting on the Lord. So, okay, uh, no problem. Um, so that, um, yeah. get him something to drink. Yes, um, what would you like to drink? No, 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 Are you sure? Yeah. Over something to eat, I was making a French salad in the kitchen. No, don't worry. Fuck, no, feel free. This is your home. No, I, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. Are you sure? That's no problem. Are you sure? Yeah. All right, then. You have something, something for me to drink. Yeah, <laughs> Now, I've told you to stop calling me daddy. Are you a kid? I need a little kid to call me, call me dad. I know you, you old woman. You better stop it. I don't like it. Oh, my God. 
I'm really sorry to have disappointed you. Okay. Tonight? It's a deal. Yes, of course, yes. It's alright. I'll see you there. Bye. Say there's nothing wrong with me. I'm praying to God for a miracle, at least to prove to the world that I'm a woman. I don't know what else to do. Madam, you see, please relax. I have told you to stop worrying yourself, okay? Please, uh, doctor, I'd like to know if the result is out. Yep, the result is out. 
Madam, the, the result confirms you fertile. You see, so there's nothing to worry about, um, Chief. I advise you to keep praying. You see, as we Christians, it is good for we to live life that is worthy of emulation. You know you are the woman. Yes. Please, continue to make your husband feel you anytime he wants. And if there is any changes, I mean any changes, please, don't hesitate to call me, okay? Okay, sir. Thank you. So please. How is your family, especially my good friend, Ibi? How is she? They're out there doing what they know best, eating, of course. <laughs> uh, I wish I had someone to do the same in my home. Too bad. For 13 good years. So, what are you doing about it? Uh, what effort have you made so far? Listen, as we speak right now, I'm just coming from the hospital where the doctor confirmed both of us fertile. What I don't understand is what is really going on. With that uh, confirmation, uh, what are your plans? See, don't look. Go down on my knees, pray to God, any day he pleases him, he will give us a child. Have you tried another girl outside? I mean, there are so many girls out there looking for such contract. Why not approach one? Please, please. Don't even go that way. Don't go that way, please. For Christ's sake, this is marriage. Don't you know the implications of such things? And listen, man. I do not want any kind of trouble in my family. Besides, Cynthia is very fertile, so why would I need another girl? It's okay. Don't be offended. I like it. But I believe as a friend, you have to put a stop to this. Remember, you are the only child of your parents. Or do you want them to die of heart failure due to your intransigent and recalcitrant attitude? Well, my parents are both dead. When was that? Five years ago. <laughs> it's a pity. Tell me what happened. It's a long story, I don't like recalling it. Please, can we talk about something else, please? <coughs> anyway, there's a friend of mine I uh, would like you to meet when he blows into town. Uh, he might be of help. <laughs> Cynthia, mm -hmm. since the doctor confirmed that everything about your health is in good condition, I believe you conceive in no distant time. Oh my God, that is the same old story. I'm all right. I'm fine. But what is happening? What is causing the delay? That is the reason why you should be strong. I don't see the reason why you should not have a child of your own. Your system is normal. That is what baffles me. What is it? Everything will be fine, okay? Let's take it easy. I suggest you start going to money mass and also attend 3 o'clock chapel for divine mercy prayers. Okay. You will not regret it. Look, I thank you. Thank you for standing by me all these years, all this time. You know, I've become the laughing stock. They call me the barren woman, but you've been there for me. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no.
No, I'm a guy. You don't have to go like this, okay? <laughs> I haven't seen you cry. Everything is fine, okay? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Take care of yourself, okay? Don't you want to wish me a good night rest? Don't worry. You're worried about what? Look, Cynthia. I have told you to stop worrying yourself about this money mass thing. Prayers right in this room can also work. Or should I forget it? Why won't I worry? I'm the one that people are laughing at. I'm the one they are calling Baron. You don't know how I feel. You don't know how I feel. Blessed. A child will come when it will come. When? It will come. When will it come now? So mm. come what did I do? When will it come? When will I carry right. a child? It's alright. Come on. Stop. <laughs> now come on. Give me a smile, okay? Give me a smile. Yeah. It's my wife. <laughs> Turn around, turn around. Hey, Cindy. Hey, how things now? I'm fine, and you? I'm fine, I'm okay. Who owns this car? You call this a car? Hey! It's beautiful! I love this. What's the name? Wow! Baby girl. He's good. I love this. How about your boss? Oh, Cindy. You mean Chief Judge? Yeah. That man. I'm trying, I'm trying. But you know, I've tried all the strategies you taught me, but still no show. That man is something else. That man, I mean, that man is swimming in raw cash. Everybody knows that. So tell me what is keeping the game. I don't know. I've tried my best, but all to no avail. I don't know if he wants me to run after him. God forbid. Hmm. So tell me, what of his wife? That man, woman, <laughs> she's still hoping. <laughs> Let her hope. <laughs> Think it's over. No, don't you trust me again? Cindy, baby. <laughs> baby, baby you look bad. How can let me trust it in the market? Ah, this is gonna be the last thing. <laughs> Yeah. How did it take place? 
Samu. I think the message was for me. I'm happy for you. Your face? Cynthia, you look moody. What's the problem? George again? No, it's not church. What is it? It's the village. I mean, we're traveling to the village. And each time we have to travel, I get anxious and nervous. I'm tired of their mockery. They call me a witch who eats up her children. I'll be having sleepless nights. Cynthia, you're taking these things too far. You don't have to worry. One day you have every cause to glorify the name of the Lord upon your life. I pray so. Cynthia, the heavenly beds have made a farm, no barn. But God provides for them. Talk more of we. You that is made in the image of God. One day you have every cause to glorify the name of the Lord, okay? Pray so. The Lord is your strength. Amen. Always remember to read Psalm 64. Mm -hmm. George, here's my friend, the one I told you about. Bob, this is George. Hey. How do you do? Sing how do you do? Pleasure to meet you. Sing here. Well, um, my friend here, Val, has told me of the problems you've been having for the last 10 years. No, no, point of correction. 13 years. Mm, 13 years. A long time. Well, the problems are over. Really? Yes. Oh, praise the Lord. <laughs> um, has he told you of the requirements? Requirements? Yes. What kind of requirements? He didn't mention anything like requirements. Sacrifice. Sacrifice? Yes, sacrifice. Please, can, can you advise me a little bit? What kind of. When you say sacrifice, I'm lost. See, Mr. George. Everything in life has a price. And for you to attain that which you desire, obviously you must sacrifice. Well, that's obviously yeah. correct. You know, there's a price tag to everything. Yes. Like I know there are various kinds of sacrifices. You have uh, ram sacrifices, for instance. You have goat sacrifice. You have a uh, chicken sacrifice. Even human. Yes, my dear. Um, I would like to stop at the supermarket to buy some things for people in the village. That's all right, no problem. Um, driver, oh. uh, please uh, remember to stop over at uh, Tolu supermarket, okay? Okay, sir. Good.
Hey, drama, take it easy, okay? Don't, don't, don't step on that thing too fast, okay? <laughs> she is really rolling those hips. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my lips. <laughs> the village is really developing. Yes. I think this community development unit are doing a great job. It's great. These children, they are always going about making a hell of a noise in the name of church. You've been on up till now, you've not still changed this your habit of not going to church. To church? To pick what? Oh, but the kingdom of heaven is at hand. <laughs> kingdom of heaven, kingdom of heaven. It has been there since our ancestors coming at hand. <laughs> uh, in fact, George, why I have called you is this. If I see and close my mouth, it will be an abomination. Now that you've come to the village, why not pick another wife? Look, it is important that you choose another woman who can bear you children. Mm. Yes. I see. Okay. I'll see what I can do about that. Mm. Yes, good. I'll see. Yes. Mm? Yeah, don't worry. Don't worry at all. We've already chosen another woman who can bear you children. She will make a good wife. Mm. Yes. Okay. You've seen a wife from here? Yes. I hope the wife you found for me, I hope uh, she has children. No. How can she have children? She's fresh. You don't need an expired woman. Okay. I am not prepared to marry any woman that has not had children before. Okay? She must be tested and proven. George understands. Will you shut up? Eh? I said shut up! Oh, are you now saying that the problem is from you? Look, infertility is not in my lineage. At least I have five of you. And my mother had us eight. You know that? Mama, I've told you that my husband has no problem. And if you're saying all this for me to go and sleep with another man, no way. That is called adultery and I will not be part of it. Cynthia, you are inside water and soap is entering your eyes. Wake up, my child. Wake up. Come on. Have you ever asked yourself how many children your mother-in-law have? Have you? Eh? Mama, that God blessed you with children is no reason for you to become a judge over others. Eh? Listen, it is God that gives children. Let go out of this. What is wrong with you? Eh? What's your problem? So you have not heard that heaven help those who help themselves? Eh? Nonsense. I, I cannot sit down and watch you sell all this rubbish. This is the nice thing. Hmm? Take it a cup three times a day. Eh? 
I assure you, within one month. Don't think. It was a I don't want to take any medicine without my husband's knowledge. Must you tell your husband everything? Eh? It's not everything a woman sees that she tells the husband. Take this thing, Pico. Oh, I'm very. Take it. I'll come back in a month's time, oh, eh? To see how you're feeling. I know what I'm. Take it. What about your friend, uh, Sister Cynthia? I've not been seeing her in many months. I hope all is well. Actually, they traveled and um, I'm on my way to their house now to yeah, see that back. That's very nice of you, Sister Amaka. Thank Please you. Uh, do extend my regards to her. I will. I will. Thank you. Bye bye. Eh? Okay, bye. Well, this is your husband. Thank you. Jesus, my Savior, my Father. Answer me, oh Lord.
in the matter. I'm not interested in marriage, you know. I'm just so saved from the disgrace and shame. You get your filthy hands off me. I'm trying to be of help. As I get your filthy hands off me, you daughter of the devil. Get out of my office. Sir, I was only trying to be of As help. I get out of my office! To give you a song, sir. Mm -hmm. To change my pouch. Excuse me, madam. Yes. I know I'm not supposed to tell you this. Yes. Um, um for your kind heartedness and gentleness, I've made me to disclose the secret to you. Um, as you can see, your husband, my boss, have been having an affair outside with one lady. She stays at number two Ketchy Close. And um, she's six months pregnant for him. And her name is um, Angel. Is that all? Yes, madam. See, um, tell your friend that unfortunately she's outside. And I'm inside. I'm not leaving my husband. And my husband is not leaving me. Thank you. Hmm? Uh, I mean, um, like I said, um, you know, as you don't mind, cut. Huh? You have it? Yeah. So let's start cleaning, let's start cleaning. I need to go back. I have a cook for my husband, you know? <laughs> How about your madame? Did she travel? Oh, she's at home. Okay, really? I'll send my Sweetie, mm -hmm. there's something I've been wanting to tell ya. You always want to tell me something, so what is it this time around? The Lord has finally done it. Are you pregnant? Um. Two months gone. You what? Two months gone! Two months? Yes! Yeah! <laughs> 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 Hear the gist. 
sweetheart. You mean you've not guessed? Hmm. Something new is happening here. Look at that! Something new is happening here. <laughs> Something new is happening here! Cynthia, the Lord Jehovah has done it. I'm happy for you. Sweet. At last. Finally. <laughs> to the shame of the death. Exactly. <laughs> I don't want to sit down. I don't want to sit down. I don't want to be standing on food. Let's eat it. Don't 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 let
every day, that's good. But you and your family worship only on Sundays. It is not enough for the Lord. How many children do you have? I'm, I'm waiting on the Lord, sir. At least for one. Satan is a liar, woman. But each time I see you, I see children around you. Oh, Father, please pray for me. Pray for me so that it will be manifested physically. Please. What of your husband? My, my husband is okay. He's fine. That is not what I meant. Why is he not coming here to pray with you? Uh, my husband is um, he's very busy. His business always takes him out of the country. God will give you that which you desire. Only if your husband will come with you and ask. Remember, the scripture says, where two or three are gathered in my name, I am in their midst. You can kneel down, let me bless you. <laughs> Yes, go ahead. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Sure, go ahead, man. This girl should have cut these things. They're too big. I'll cut them so much more. You are not eating. What is it again? Yes, sweetheart. I have a message for you from a priest at the church. Oh, not again. Another bazaar harvest. Can't, can't one just rest for this reverend fathers or what? Must every message you know, be about bazaar harvest or donation? Okay, I'm sorry. What is it? What's the message? Go on, tell me. The priest said he's been seeing me at the chapel every noon, praying alone. He said that God will only give me my heart desire if my husband will come with me and ask. Did you tell him that I come to church every Sunday? Yes, I did. But that's not enough. All right, sweetheart, let me ask you. How many times do you go to the office every week? Every other day except Saturdays and Sundays, which obviously you know I reserve for ceremonies. You see, darling, it's not enough. We don't give God enough time. Please, darling. Let us do as God has asked. Please, I beg you. Let's do what he said now. I've heard you, okay? I'll think about it. Thank you.
Honey, pray now. Why don't you pray? I will not want. Huh? You bleed us in prayer. Yes, we are one. But you have to be the one to lead in prayer, like the priest said. You are the head of our family. You should be leading your family, you know, spiritually, emotionally, you know, physically. So go ahead and pray. Almighty and everlasting Father, we know we are sinners. But Father Lord, we come before you praying day to prove to the world, to help us prove to the world that we are capable of having children. Me and my wife, that we can have, actually have children. Father, just do this for us. If it pleases you, Father, you can take back the child whenever it suits you. But please, let us prove to the world that we can actually have children. These are many more we ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. challenge God? How do we hold God by his words? How do we tell the world that we have a God that answered it by fire? We can't expect a miracle to happen without working for it. Eh? And I'm not prepared to toil for anybody anymore. Eight whole years we asked for a child. Prayed fasted and finally he answered us and when we most need this child he just comes like that and takes this child away how do you expect me to feel you're talking as if our daughter is dead she's not i remember we are dealing with god here not man listen sweetie we have to keep trying hmm? i'm saying this because Soon I'll get to menopause. What do we do then? What? Well, you pray to God like Sarah. God will answer you. Oh, darling, don't mock me. Don't mock me. Really? Hi. Who are you talking to? 
Hmm? Who are you talking to? You didn't tell me you were coming to the office. Well, I decided to. But you haven't answered my question, who were you talking to? Look, I'm just sick and tired of receiving invitation card upon invitation card here every weekend. For one ceremony or the other. Is that all? See, are you asking me if that's all? What am I going to share my own invitation? You think I don't feel up to it? You think I don't want to have a child dedication? You think I don't want to have a child ceremony? Why are you asking me that kind of question? Honey, listen, it's okay. It's going to be okay. Hmm? I've got a surprise for you. Surprise? Another surprise. Why don't you come with me and stop asking questions? Come with your wife. Come. Mm. Tell the secretary to lock up. Just come. So that, yeah. this surprise of yours is taking us too far. I hope it's not one of those tricks of yours to take me to the chapel. Even if it is the chapel, is there any crime? Then I'm sorry, you're going to be disappointed this time around. Because as soon as we get there, I get a taxi and back to the office, I go. <laughs> well, this time around, you will not be disappointed. Just trust your wife, okay? I hope so. Well, sweetheart, um, we are here to shop for our long-awaited baby. Excuse me? Well, your wife is um, two months pregnant. No, 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 Cynthia, no. Don't start with me. Give me. I... Stop this joke. I don't, I don't like it. Why? Why would you bring me into... A supermarket where they sell the biggest things to announce to me you're pregnant. What kind of joke is that? Your wife is two months pregnant. We've waited for this baby all our lives. Absolutely. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god. 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 Oh they need to say a lot of pressure for the now, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so where are they? Come on! Come on! Every day! Where is Where is it? Where is it? Come! Come! Move, 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 move! Please don't bother price. Come, Pat, bring this one. Where are the other ones? Move! Move, move, move! move. Yeah. How are you today? Fine, sir. You look good. Thank God. So, how are you doing with your baby? The Lord is good. <laughs> yeah, Sister Cynthia, yeah. please, uh, I will always urge you to never relent in your prayers. You see, in a time like this, the enemy, which is the devil, he always fights tooth and nail to deprive us of our happiness. But the Bible made it clear to us in the book of Luke 10:19. 
he says that the Lord has given us authority to trample upon the snakes and scorpions. He said that they shall by no means harm us. You see, I will always urge you to never relent in your prayers. Always pray for self delivery, okay? Thank you very much. Thank Please remember me in your prayers, so I will always do that. Thank you. Eh? Please do greet your husband for I me. Will. Okay? Bye bye. Bye. Don't need this. Come on. Perpetua! Perpetua! Sir? Come on, I go get your madame with flat slippers, okay? Okay, sir. Hurry up. Okay, sir. Oh, sweetheart. Yes, sir. There's nothing wrong with what I'm wearing. Besides, I might be in the car all through. Excuse me? Did I hear you say car? Come on, let me tell you something. Come on. <coughs> we are going for a walk. I'm going out there to tell and show the entire world the hand of work of God. What God has done for us <laughs> after eight solid years of prayers and fasting. I want to show the entire world that George Oslonia is indeed a man. But darling, you're always a man. Oh, yeah. My man. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? Where is it, my Thank, you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Please take care of the house, huh? Okay, ma'am. We go for a while, okay? Sweet. All right, ma'am. <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go. Hello, everybody. Here we go.
Yes. Mm, yes. Yeah. So I had to go see my friend at the house next day in respect of the newly opened international school. Sweetheart. Yes, dear. You're still insisting on changing school for gift. Of course, anything for her. I told you, <laughs> the best education for my girl. All right. So where's she? Where's my daughter? Uh, she's still not back from the center. Center? Yeah. What center? Block Rosary Center. Cynthia! Cynthia! How many times in the past have I warned you never to let my daughter out out of this beer? Just a church. A church? What time is it now? Seven fact. Where's the Perpetua? Perpetua! Will you come? Come here. Come, come here. How many times have I warned you never to allow that girl out by this hour by this Saturday night? Please. Huh? Be, be, will you shut up? Now you go fetch her. Come on. And don't come back to this house without her. Come on, you. Come here. Cynthia, I am warning you for the last time. She just to Don't let this thing happen again, Nessa. Can I have my jacket? Give it to me. Give it to me. She just went to church. Let me wait for her in that office. your bedtime, okay? You have to go to bed tomorrow in school, alright? Okay, Daddy, but let us pray before I go to bed. No, you can pray when you get to your room, okay? Your mommy and I will pray later. No, Daddy, our leader at the block says that family mm -hmm. that prays together stays together. You're right, my love. You are right. Mm -hmm. Daddy, come on, let's pray like she said. Come on. Alright? Mm -hmm. Is dying. Yours I am, yours I want to be. Do with me whatever you want. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night, Dad. Oh. Yes, good night, my dear. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Have you done all your parking? No, Mom, but I'll do it immediately like I get into my room. Hmm. I promise. Uh -huh. You better do that fast, okay? It's a long journey, alright? Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. I love you. Love you too, mm -hmm. baby. Mm -hmm. um, she's going into a very big girl. Oh, yes. Mm. <laughs> You're itching for one now. <laughs> <laughs> are you not? Are you not? <laughs> yes, you are. How was your job? How are everybody back home? I mean, my people, how are they? Your people? George. You have refused to listen. But let me remind you, a fly that rejects advice follows the corpse to the grave. You talk with some bitterness. I hope uh, there's no problem. Why don't you come down so we can talk? Talk? There is nothing to talk about. How long will it take your wife to give us another child? A male child! I don't understand why you people will dwell on this. Why would you people allow this to bug you? Listen. We needed a child. We asked God for a child. 
God answered our fervent prayers by giving us a child. It doesn't matter the sex of the child, male or female. Hmm. Have you ever thought of what will happen if you suddenly drop dead? God forbid. Hmm? But death is a necessary end. Everybody must die. But maybe you do not understand that I will soon graduate this girl a lawyer. And she will go by the title Barrister Gift George Ngene, which will be a pride to the family. Yes, it is a big pride to the family. But it is not enough. Training her as a lawyer will not make her a man. George, get this into your thick head. You need a male child to succeed you. Agwagokone. No matter how you color your face, it will stop you from being chica. By the way, just hurry up. We're late already. Uh -uh. We have 8 o'clock lectures. It's just 7.20. 10 minutes drive to school. So I beg, allow me to finish my makeup. Did I hear you say drive? <laughs> have you forgotten I have a flat tire? I've asked Dom to help fix it up. He will soon be here. Please wait. Dom? No, I... I have to hurry. You know what? You bring the car to school. I'll wait for you there. So, are you leaving me? Yes, no. I'm late. Actually, I was waiting for you. You're waiting for me? Yeah. Why? I actually I wanted to see you for something very important. What is it? Hmm. You see, actually, um, mm -hmm. since the last time I met you, um, I've never had rest of mind. So I just wanted you to give me a chance, you know. Give me a chance so that I can prove my love to you. Dom, you're a nice person. You're a very good man. Mm. But as I said earlier, I don't think I'm ready for any relationship of any sort right now. You are my friend. And I think that is good enough for now. Look, what is that you need? What do you want? Just tell me and I'll, I'll provide it for you just to make you happy. I'll do that. Just tell me, look, my parents are not lacking in any way. And I'm equal to the tax. Dom. <sighs> you know why I always say you're fun to be with? Why? It's because you have the calling of a pastor. Oh. No, it's true, Dom. You don't believe in failure. And that's very good. Anyway, I think I better hurry. I'll be late for my father.
You can't believe this. He gave me this for my birthday. Who? Your boyfriend? Yes. <laughs> this one? It's nothing. It's not fine. I mean, I'm expecting a bigger one for my boyfriend. Just imagine. Let me see. Is this a camera phone? Yes. You like it? It's nice. Hmm. Sorry, class. Please, can we say the angels? Um, please, let's go get some to you disturbing me? Didn't you see that I was meditating? Don't you have the fear of God in your heart? Gift. I would like to ask you a question if you don't mind. Okay, ask me. But next time, wait until I finish at least. First of all, I want to ask you. Are you a virgin? And secondly, why can't you do something meaningful with this body of yours? My God. Why? It's your first question. Yes, I am a virgin. You are? And to your second question, Chica, don't you know that your body is the temple of the Lord? My body is the temple of the Lord. And even in the Bible, he says, know ye not that your body is the temple of the Lord? So thou shalt not defy it. When are you going to understand that your life, your future, and everything about you depends solely on God? Because he's the oh, awesome. Oh, please, please, stop it, please. It's okay. Before you start preaching to me. Go ahead and read your Bible. I'll be fine. Thank you. Chica, Proverbs 1, 7 says that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Fools despise wisdom. Oh, please. Sorry. Thank you. Look, Chica, I sincerely love your friend. I do love her. From my heart. Don, I've tried my best to convince her. But still, she stood her ground. I don't know what else to do. I don't know. But well, tell me, look, where must she be at this time of the night? She went to church. Church? Yes. Is there any special program in the church? No, no special program. You see, she goes to church every day. Any day she doesn't go to church, she will fall sick. Hmm. So, why didn't you go with her? Me? Yeah, you. Mm. Eh, it's personal. It's a personal thing. Uh, personal? How personal are that? Personal that you don't want to share with me? You don't want to tell me? Mm, don't worry about that. It's personal. So, um, tell me, is she seen anyone? I mean, is there anybody, I mean, anybody in her life? No, there's no one else. Nobody. See, keep on praying, eh? Pray harder. Maybe someday she might accept you. You know, nothing good comes easy. Just keep on trying. 
For how long? For how long? You know now. For how long? What tripped me most in her is her gentle behavior. She can hardly raise her voice no matter the situation. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's the result of a church's rich family. Or what do you think? No, 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 no. I don't agree with you. We have governor's children and pastor's children who go to church. You can't still differentiate them. You can't tell. <laughs> well, you, you know what? I believe gifts is specially made for me. And that is why I won't allow any man, I mean any man, to take her away from me. Then keep on trying. Hmm? Keep on trying. Well, I pray that too. Tell her, tell her I called, okay? So you don't want to stay with me again? I've tried some other time. I'll make her tell. I'll, I'll come and see you people. Okay, so just tell her I called. Alright. Yeah, okay, bye bye. Yes, my dear, how are you? Yeah. Yes, my dear. Mm. Oh, okay. so how are you? I'm fine. Um, gift called. Really? You said something about being called to the bar. Called to the bar? Mm-hmm. For God's sake! Eh? Oh, don't. If Mohammed refuses to go to the mountain, then the mountain goes to Mohammed. Meaning eh? what? Try and understand, okay? You know I've always dreamt of you know, having you all. Stop! For God's sake, gift is your friends. Be a man of your own. What is wrong with you? You're too stiff. Okay. Alright. Oh, I'm sorry, okay? Where is gift? Gift. Yeah. She has gone back to her house. And you may not see her now. A house? Why? 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 Um, save that for her when you see her. Okay. Thank you very much. I'll see you. Don't. Dear friend, a nice person, 
though sometimes clumsy. Oh, please, <laughs> just tell me. What is it? What do you have for me? Don't tell me you've forgotten. Okay, guess. Guess, 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 guess. No, I can't guess. Just tell me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Ta! <laughs> Happy birthday. Wow! <laughs> you? <laughs> Come on, what's this? It? It's a precious gift that you definitely like. Ta -da! <laughs> what? What is this? It's a ring rosary. Gift? You don't like it? What? Do I look like a reverend sister? Chica. It's a precious what? gift that will uplift your prayer methodology. Prayer methodology, my foot. Nonsense. I so long. Where are you going? Oh, happy for the faculty is having a party tonight. Let's get ready and let's go. Oh, that. Parties are not meant for me. Why? Because Nkem says she's coming to collect her handbook tomorrow. Meaning, if I don't make use of them now, I'll never be able to read them and I won't be able to prepare for the assignment. Gifts. All works and no play makes gifts a dull brain. Come on, come ready, let's go. Chica, if you want to go, of course, why not? You can go. But I'm not going. What I'll just do now is I'll just sleep. No, no, I'll have my bath first. Have my bath, sleep, wake up later at night, and read and prepare for the assignment. So, what do you expect me to do now? I mean, you don't expect me to go out there, you know, this night. Let's go together. No, we will not go together. I just told you I have to prepare for my assignment. That's why I'm here. Okay, you drive. Take care. Good news. Yeah. <laughs> So, what do you intend doing? That is why I invited you. Mm. You see, it is said that two heads are better than one. Exactly. So tell me, Val, what do you suggest? Mm. You bought her car when she got admitted into the university, right? Mm. Why not buy her a bigger car this time around? A car, if you ask me, is small. You see, her birthday is just by the corner. I'm thinking of uh, throwing a party for her on her birthday. I have already paid for a jeep, a baby jeep for her. You know. But you see, I'm thinking of something big, you know, something to, to, to excite her. You know, that's what I'm looking at. Um, let's merge it uh, with the engagement to Tony together. Good thinking. Good thinking. You see, but I still feel she needs, you know, something that will give her more excitement. You know, that's what I'm thinking of. You know, I don't know what. Okay, I know where you're going. Um, Why not hand over the chambers the same day? Yes. I think we're there. On the day of the party, while I'm handing over the keys of the baby jeep to her, 
At the same time, I hand over the keys to the chambers. And then finally, present to her her life partner to be. You see, that's why I told you that two heads are better than one. I will be I'm sure she's going to blow her heads off. <laughs> Praying. Yes. Yes, yes. In two weeks time, I'll be home by then. <laughs> okay. Hello, Mom. <laughs> In two weeks time, yes, I'll be there. <laughs> okay, Mom. No problem. I love you. Bye. <laughs> I don't really understand you. How can your phone be ringing and you pretend not to hear it? I didn't pretend not to hear it. You got it all wrong. I was talking to my father. Don't fool me. Was that not your father that called you? He's my dad, but he's not my God. Understand? Sorry. Sorry. She can wait my bike. minutes. Yes, I'll be there with my friends in 30 minutes. I promise. <laughs> okay. Dad, help me say hello to mom and tell her I'll soon be there. Alright. Bye. <laughs> Bye. This would be a very good opportunity for me to meet your dad. You know? <laughs> I'm ready. Alright. Um, shall we? What's happening now? What's happening? Is the line not going? That's what I'm trying to do now. I think it's the reason. Please, baby. Don't die on me. Don't die. Don't die, please. You know you're my home. Is that what you're supposed to be saying? Eh? At least let's inform my parents first. Call them now. Baby. You said the doctor is still attending to her? Yes, sir. Tell me, 
What really happened? She just slumped like that. Just like that. And who are you? Um, uh, I am. Oh, honey. How are you? Fine. Is my child okay? No, no, she, she's just fine. Okay? Are you sure? She, she's, she's still with the doctor, okay? Okay. Are you saying that we should uh, take her home? That is not what I'm saying. But you see, we have tried all our best. And all the tests carried out were abortive. What of all the money paid to invite a specialist? What did he say? That is the problem. He said nothing. In fact, we did not find anything wrong with her. As a friend, I advise you stop spending money. Listen, don't you tell me that. Why do I make money? Why do you think I make money? And of what excess is my money when my money can bring my daughter back to life? Don't you tell me that! Take it easy, George. Remember, God is the giver of life. So, uh, after transferring her to this hospital, believing we'll have a positive result, it's still negative. Well, all hope is not lost. But we kill and God heals. So let's hope and pray. Devil, you are a liar. You are a liar. A big one. My daughter must leave. Well, I think I'd like to fly her abroad. I should have missed the lot. We'll see the doctor. We are grateful. Cynthia, I know I might be too small to tell you this, but God uses anybody to deliver a message. Yes. Believe me, your daughter must be taken to a convent urgently. You I'm seeing her is too far. A convent? Yeah. Excuse me. You said a convent. Anywhere that is not the home of a, of a native doctor, or that has anything to do with tradition, I will go there. Meanwhile, thank you very much for your message. Please, uh, uh, Maggie! Margaret! Sir! Quick, quick, quick. Help them, eh? Please help them. Mm. I'll talk to them. Take it easy with my daughter. Are you welcome? Yes. Uh, thank you very much. Yes. You will never be in the stream while the soap penetrates into your eyes. This is a gallon of herbs. It is called Ogunoria. I see that. Thank you very much. Uh, meanwhile, who is this man? This man? Yes. He came so that if there is any other thing that is handmade, he will find it out. Yes. yes. Anyhow, thank you very much. Eh? But you see this man? I don't want to see this man in my house. Don't be offended, okay? I am happy for your concern. But let me quickly remind you. You see, God in heaven is the giver of life. 
and he takes whenever it suits him. Besides, it took me eight years of fervent prayers and fasting before God gave that girl to me. And I know that that same God cannot take her away. Please, Mazi Iwe, please just take this man out of my house, please. It's a convent. Praise the Lord. <laughs> May your name be praised. You are indeed God. Yes. Gift. That's okay. You're fine now. You're fine now, my daughter. Oh, my dear. Oh, my dear. You're fine. Yes, my dear. I. I belong here. Uh, of, of course, I know you belong here. I have always known you'd get better as soon as we got here. Hmm. Come. Who is the head of this place? Huh? Tell me who, who, who is the head of this place? I, I, I'm building up houses all over here. Buy you buses. Okay? All right? Who is in charge? Yeah. Yes, what is it, my dear? No. I want to live here. And die here. Dad. I want to become a reverend sister. I have that calling, Dad. Hey, hey, Gift. Don't you let me curse God. Did you hear what I said? Don't let me curse God. I love you so much. You know it. You were all I have. Are you forgetting you were a lawyer? Is this where you want to practice your law profession? Is this where you want to practice your law profession? What about the chambers I built? What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen to everything? I beg you in God's name. I know you love me. You better talk to me. I know you love me, Dad. Please, 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 Hey, what, what, do you, what do you think you do? Huh? It's here. Where are you taking her to? It's here. Gift! Gift! You want me to be here? Gift! Here. You better come back here. Please. 
I've been calling you. How are you? I'm fine as you can see. Alright. And how is my wife, I mean, gift? Sorry, Mr. Dreamer. Gift in no distant time will be a reverend sister. What? Why? Okay. Remember she was taken to the convent for her illness. Alright, oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. According to her mom, Gift refused to follow them back when she recovered. And I don't think she might even come back again. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Gift. Why? All I've been building is not story, eh? Um, if you don't mind, lover boy, I am single and still searching for someone. Stop! Oh, stop! I've told you this before. Gift is your friend. Get that into your head. Then go and look for her. Okay, please, um, can you give me her address? I, I don't know where she is. Oh. I, I don't know where. You can be going from convent to convent to look for her. Chica, please. Huh? Chica, please. I belong here. I want to live here and die here. Dad, I want to become a reverend sister. I have that calling, Dad. Hey, Gift. Don't you let me curse God. Did you hear what I said? Don't let me curse God. I love you so much. You know it. You were all I have. Are you forgetting you a lawyer? Is this where you want to practice your law profession? Please, Dad. Is this where you want to practice your law profession? What about the changes I do? What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen to everything? I beg you in God's name. I know you love me. Darling, you can't continue like this. You've been crying like this, like, like a baby for the past three days. You're breaking my heart. Are you questioning God? Remember Abraham in the Bible? He went through the same thing. But God answered him. Listen. I believe prayers, more and more prayers. We will see what God has in store for us. Okay? How could you? How could you have forgotten? Sylvia, how could you? Have you forgotten what we went through? How we labored? How we prayed? Fasted before God answered our prayers and gave us that child. Look at 
I know we labored. Yes, we labored. But God was faithful. He gave us a child in the name of gift. We should be thankful. But don't forget. You made a promise to him. Okay? Listen, it's okay. God is the author and finisher of everything, of our fate. He will do all that is right in his time. Stop this. Um, so, how is my daughter? Well, she's getting on well. She's fine. She says she will come and see you soon. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Well, Dr. Chick went to call. What, what did he say? He called to say that the result is positive. of the incident so I decided to come and see you. Don, it wasn't an incident. I decided on my own. As you can see, it's the truth. You're welcome. Look, you can still come out of this place. There's no shame in it. There's no shame in it. Okay? Look, we, we can travel outside the country. I mean, yeah, we can stay there forever and ever. Don't, please. I can see that your imagination has taken over your school of thought. Don, when are you going to accept Christ and begin to see the realities of this world? I am now a servant of the Lord. And that is forever. But you can still serve the Lord no. anywhere you are. Don't. My dear brother in the Lord, no. I have chosen to follow Christ. You're a good man. And I'll pray for a God fearing woman for you. It's time for my Angelus now. I have to go. Bless you. Faithful. 
And even in the Bible, he says that his children shall give birth like the Hebrew women. Without any problem. I'm sure she'll be fine. George, calm down. I think I agree with that. All is well uh, in the midst of his children. Just giving back to quadruplets. What? Quadruplets. Three boys and a girl.
back home. Father, please I bless your house in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please, Father, make yourself happy. Our Father, too. God is good. Amen. 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 Just take the babies upstairs, please. Take them upstairs. Savior, my Father, answer me, O oh Lord, do unto me.